In fog a few minutes ago, and that is what many woke up to and saw this morning across the region. Not everyone saw the fog, but a lot of folks did. Sharing this viewer photo for you. Love this shot. This one was taken in Detroit Lakes by Julia. So I'm Julia. Thank you so much for sharing that foggy photo. Now, one more shot here for you. This not so much the fog. We had a little bit out there uh, just outside of Fargo. This is taken in Mapleton by Raymond Scales. Just love the sun shining through that sunrise looking very pretty nice pink orange color there. Raymond again, thank you for sharing that photo. We look outside right now. We are seeing partly cloudy to mostly cloudy conditions. 40 in Fargo currently south wind at eight miles per hour and you can see that feels like wind chill 34 degrees out there. Moorhead seeing a temperature of 37 right now. Grand Forks, you're looking at 33 under a mostly cloudy sky. South wind at nine miles per hour, so it gives it a feel of 25 degrees that they're factoring in the wind. Now there are quite a few spots here that are well above the freezing mark, including that 40 Fargo 37 in Fergus Falls. How about Jamestown at 41 degrees Oaks 37. Then we have these little pockets where those numbers are at freezing or just below northern Minnesota, including Thief River Falls at 29 degrees. Satellite radar. We had the breaks in the clouds, uh, allowing some sun to shine down. Now we're seeing clouds start to move back in from the west northwest. And I think that's a story for the evening and overnight hours. Generally, mostly cloudy conditions. In fact, we'll see a little bit of fog development once again, especially out west. We're going to see some more dense fog. Devil's Lake, Carrington, you can expect that early tomorrow morning. Overnight lows in the mid to upper 20s. Winds also shifting out of the north right now. Those winds are out of the south, generally across the region. Winds out of the north tomorrow, but one nice thing, we'll start to see breaks in the clouds during the afternoon again. So high temperatures uh, today, similar to what we are going to see out there tomorrow. We're going to see a lot of mid to upper 30s. 38 Fargo, 36 Wapton, 38 Sister. Now just a minute ago, uh, we talked to you about the fact that the extended looks like it's going to be warmer than normal. Check this out. This is our 8 to 14 day temp outlook uh, provided by the Climate Prediction Center. You can see November 10th through 16th uh, odds are very high that our numbers are going to be above normal in terms of temperatures and the precipitation outlook showing below normal. So there is going to be a window of time right there in the middle of November. And as you look at our seven day, you can see this weekend, first of all, 43, 45, pretty good chance of rain, maybe mixed with a little snow on Sunday, a comfortable high. But next weekend, talking about those long range, Saturday, Sunday, Monday looks like upper 40s to maybe 50. So I know that's a little ways away, but something to look forward to after this week and a half extended so far of these chillier temperatures. Yes, that is a great thing to look forward to. I'm Warmer ex temperatures. Exactly, some sunshine. I'm excited mm. about it. Less snow. Less snow. Let's go. Good job, Ross. Thanks.